Hello YouTube. Hello everyone. How are you doing today? I hope you're having an amazing day. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome to a new video. If you don't know me, my name is Natalia and in this channel I share a bit of everything that's happening in my life. I share a lot about fitness, about nutrition, about my work. I'm an actress and a model so I share a bit of backstage and I basically share anything and everything that's being helpful in my journey and that I hope could serve you in any sort of way to help you enjoy life a little bit more. So in this video, I want to speak to you about a concept that I heard in Jay Shedai's podcast that has really, really gotten into my mind and that has really helped me deal with the situation at the moment. We are back in lockdown in Australia and it's going to be at least a two month lockdown. So it hasn't been easy to deal with the anxiety of this happening again, of the unknown, of not working and many things that come along with being in a lockdown. But listening to this has really helped me. So I thought I would share it with you. And the concept that I'm speaking to you about is the fact that, that your pride and your feeling of having done the good thing or having done enough should be attached to your input rather than the output of the situation. To make this more understandable, let's say you're running a race. Your input is the amount of hours you put into your training, the way you feed your body, the way you take care of your sleep, anything and everything that you need for the race to be the best it can be. The output in this situation would be what the result of the race is, who wins, who gets the medals, what was your time. So basically what Jay said I was explaining in regards to this is that your feeling of fulfillment or your feeling of thriving should come from how much effort you knew you put into it of how much work you put into it, on how much presence you put into what you were doing, on how much enjoyment you got from it, rather than the result. The result can be something that can make you proud, but the output most of the times does not depend on you in many different situations of life. The output will depend on the other people that raced with you, on how well the track was had been taken care of, of all the things that you might not have a direct impact on, but that will affect the result. This is a concept that I found really, really powerful to increase my productivity and to also increase how I would feel day to day because of the fact that there's so many outside factors that I have no control over. So it's just how long we're gonna be in a lockdown, regarding work, when I do a casting, the output will depend on what they're looking for in that campaign, if they're looking for a specific racial ratio that they need to maintain, if they had a specific idea in their head of what they were looking for, all of these things I have no control over. I have control over how I present myself to the casting, how present I am, how much work I've put into my part of the thing. And when my happiness and my pride depends on the output and on the result that someone else has power over, a lot of the times it's going to be encouraging, but a lot of the times it's going to be very discouraging, especially when you have put a lot of work into something and it doesn't work out. It's going to make you feel afterwards like you shouldn't try that hard and you shouldn't make that many efforts. And in the long run, you're not doing your best and this is not going to get you to your best results. But we're human and it's normal to be discouraged by trying, trying and trying and maybe not getting exactly what we thought we would get. That's why it's much more logical and it makes much more sense for you to actually base your level of pride, your level of did I feel successful, did I feel fulfilled today, all of these things you should base on how your input was so that you actually have something that you can track and that you can improve that does not depend on someone else. It will be easier to improve, it will be easier on your mental health and it will be easier to keep on going and keep on doing efforts even if you haven't seen the result yet rather than if you're always expecting for the result of something to make you feel good about yourself. This is really not sustainable and it will also increase your anxiety and your stress over things you have no power of. So this has really helped me during this second lockdown to focus on the things that I can do focus on the content I can do, focus on the classes I can do, focus on the actual power I have over my life and make that be the count at the end of the day that I will use to determine whether it was a good or a bad day or a day that I could probably improve 
rather than was it a good day because the prime minister announced that I'm free or that I'm still in a lockdown? Was it a good day because I got this job or because I didn't? Or was it a good day because this person reacted to what I did in a good or in a bad way? Let me know if this is helpful for you. Let me know if you've listened to this podcast. I really, really learned a lot from this podcast. So I heavily recommend it. I'm going to put the link down below. And please don't hesitate to let me know what has helped you during these times. Even if you're not in Australia, what helped you during your lockdown? What helped you during this pandemic? And what has helped you to, to improve yourself and to get to where you want to get? And while you're there, please don't hesitate to give this video a thumbs up and to subscribe. It will help you to watch my next videos. And it will also help the magic YouTube algorithm that I don't understand at all. There you go. I hope you have an amazing, amazing day. And I hope this served you in any sort of way. And I'm sending you all my love. Mwah.